quiet, isn't it? It should be, for this is the peaceful little village of Foggy Bog, Wisconsin, where the even tenor of life is uninterrupted by the noise and clamor of the workday world. Where calm and serenity reign unchallenged in this... In the cool vastness of the... Of the deep forest glades that... that... Oh, never mind. They're gaining Fillmore. Can't you go any faster? Yeah, I can, but this truck keeps holding me back. Then it's time to turn the subterfuge. Uh, subterfuge. It's not on the map, Professor. Now, of course not, my bird brain buddy. It's just a state of mind. Well, let's not cross any state lines, Professor. That's real trouble. That's a federal offensive. Pull on to that side road, Fillmore. Left, right? Right, left. And the strange conveyance pulled to a stop before a neat little home by the side of the street. Mm, I wonder who resides in this quaint concept. There's his name on the box. What is it? Uh, it's mail. U.S. mail. Thank you, J. Robert Knucklehead. Let me see that. Well, the name is Hooper. Hoppity Hooper. Do you almost here, yeah, Professor? I'll put the truck in back of the house, Somerset, and then join me on the front porch. Down the porch? Of course, old Rick. We're going to pay a social call on this Hooper chap. In a twinkling, Fillmore had hidden the truck, and the two rascals stood at the front door. Who is it? It is I, Hopperty, your long-lost uncle. My long-lost what? Hopperty! Hopperty, my little nephew! At last we meet again! Again? I never saw you before in my life! A tut, laddie? Why, I've known you since you were this high. Uh -huh. That's all higher I am now. Oh, Fillmore, he doesn't remember me. I've been away too long. You've been in the sun too long. Well, come on in, whoever you are. Uh, still the same little gentleman, isn't he, Carlisle? Hey, who's he? Oh, I almost forgot. Hoppity, this is your cousin. A uh, cousin at... Uh, Fillmore. Fillmore Bear. Oh, he always forgets. He's my cousin? Remember, you said it first. Oh, a picture of your dear, dear mother. That's Whistler's mother. Well, any friend of yours be boys. That's my mother. Of course it is. You sure don't look alike. Well, she took after father's side of the family. <laughs> Hey, Hopperty, you in there? Sure, Sheriff. What is it? We're chasing some phony snake oil peddler and his sidekick. Phony? I'll have his badge for that. You seen any strangers in these parts? Strangers? You notice the resemblance now? No, nobody's here but some relatives of mine, Sheriff. Okay, see you later, Hopperty. <laughs> Oh, thank God, that was close, Bentley. What? I said we were very close. Well, Uncle, uh... uh Waldo, Waldo Wigglesworth. How long you figure to be in town? Uh, matter of fact, dear boy, I'm already on my way. Business, you know, you should go. What kind of business? Uh, we're peddlers. Ouch! Bump on, please. I prefer to think of us as roving retailers. Observe our portable emporium. Everything for everybody, from pots and pans to rubber bands, from needles and pins to mandolins, and featuring... Wigglesworth's Indian Guide Alexia for young and old. Also middle-aged. They're good for chills, fevers, warts, and broken legs. Makes a brilliant hand cream, also waxes floors shiny bright. Gee, what's in it, Uncle Waldo? A bear living, me boy. <laughs> I mean, in the medicine. Oh, that. Well, there's uh, precious herbs, my lad, special compounds of roots, barks, and berries. That... Yeah, I filled the bottles with water, like you told me, Waldo. Uh, yes. Oh, where'd you get the water? Yeah, from that little bubbling spring out back. Oh, no, not that. So what's the matter? But that's water from Ring and Ding Spring. Well, that's bad, lad. Bad? Just look what happens when I pour some over this rock. Uh, God, that's positively supernatural. It's uncanny. And spooky, too. Well, what in the world is the terrible secret of Ring-a-Ding Spring? Be back next time to meet Hoppity Hooper starring in... The Thing in the Spring. Thank you.